Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Um, today I'm on sketch 4 of Kendra's Car Challenge 3 and this is the sketch that we'll be following this time. As before, you go to where it says paper B, paper A, so you know your papers from the original cuts. My paper A was wavy lines and my paper B was stripes. So what you get in this one is your stripey bit and my wavy lines, which I am flipping over and using this way instead. I want to go with the melted sort of lollipop idea because I'm following through with that particular stamp set. So the extras you need to cut is your background that this all sits on. And then you have two frames, a three by three inch and a two and three quarter by two and three quarter inch. I've just used my um, dies to cut those. I've decided to go with sweet ice cream and I'm going to stamp up some lollipops and I'm using the big happy birthday sentiment which I've went ahead and done. My main colour is going to be the bumblebee. I thought it tied in well with this and there's a strip of bumblebee in there. So that's what I've gone with uh, from my background card and my two squares, one in basic white, one in bumblebee. And the two stamps I'm using is bumble or two ink pads, sorry, is bumblebee and terracotta tile for the lollipops. So let's get started and see how this works out. I'm going to start putting my base card onto my main card. So we'll just add a bit of glue. And stick it in place. If the glue comes out. Should really get a smoother, shouldn't I? So we'll just stick that into the centre of our base, base card and then we know to follow the design you need to stick the stripe paper here and the paper A goes here. So I'm just positioning those so to get them fairly regular either side. Oh, goodness me, try it on it, huh? So I'm just going to stick this down quick. There's nothing else goes behind that, so we're, we're okay to tear away with this. Just try and get it equal distance. And the same for this wee one. And as I say, I've flipped it over instead of using the wavy lines this time. If it's double-sided paper using, that gives you the choice to flip it when you need to. So I'm lining that up so that it's the same height. Hopefully, bring it in a wee tiny bit. And that is our background done. So these squares then will sit like so. Uh, we're just going to do your stamping onto this wee one which will sit and I'll raise that one up and that is it that will be it so not too bad as I say I went ahead and stamped this out in the bumblebee and cut around it roughly and then set it onto the same color and cut around it again just to layer it up and it's going to sit on top of the lollies which are sitting flat I'm not going to um raise them up any. So I'm going to start by stamping this. I should stamp the lollipop sticks but I'm going to leave them to the end so that I know what size of a lollipop stick I'm going to need. So I'm doing the terracotta tile for the bottom part of the lollipop and then we're going lighter at the top. This is a fairly dark ink pad, this terracotta tile. So you just want to leave your stuff. I'm going to tilt the lollies out this way and leave myself enough room to put a bit of a stick. So just about there and I think I'll just do both bottoms at the same time. See I'm coming back out and I'm just overlapping them as well. Pretty dark colour isn't it? But a nice flavour. 
I'm gonna go with our gold now, or our bumblebee, sorry, which is like a nice gold and yellow. And we're just gonna plant this on top. But I'm coming down a bit because I don't want to go over the edges of my cutouts. And I want it overlapping so we get that middle colour that's slightly darker, different. Same on the other side. Again, don't go above the axis. I don't think I did that in very straight. But it's okay. I think I get away with it. So we want to use our wee lollipop stick. And it all comes in that same stamp set. And I'm going to use um, crumb cake for it. Or soft suede, sorry, not crumb cake. Soft suede. And we're going to cover the lollipop. Just mask it off so that I can stamp this so that, that I know how far down I have to go. And that should give us a decent wee lollipop stick. Do the same for the other one. Cover it. Oh, actually set that lollipop stick there so that I know exactly where I'm going. And that'll keep me in the middle of the lolly. Lovely. So, okay, lollipops. And this will just sit over the very top. At this stage, you could go in with a, a bit of Wink of Stella just to make them nice and kind of glossy and sparkly. Let's go do with the wee shake down it. I always end up getting too much on it then, which I didn't want to happen. Hopefully it'll be covered by my sentiment. But it does give it a nice, you probably can't see it there, it'll just give it a nice wee sparkle. Yeah, you can see it a bit, it's nearly dry. So I'm actually going to um, I'll stick this in place. So you could, if you wanted, have that, well it actually kind of has it a bit higher. So this is going to stick there and stick there. And if you weren't putting your sentiment on top of that, you could put a smaller sentiment down here. But because I am sticking my sentiment over the top, I'm going to put this more down towards the middle. So I'm sticking this one on flat. And then I'm going to raise up the other one. So it's just a matter of trying to get straight. And I'll put a few of the, the bigger ones. Got my lollipops to the one side there accidentally. Hopefully nobody will notice it when I pop my this over the top. It's a pretty big sentiment, but I might put it down a wee bit. What do you think? I'm gonna raise it up anyway because I don't want it too small or too flat. So I'm not going right out there because I know they go over the edge a bit. Oh, I don't want a sticky end hanging over. So we're just sort of, I want to see a wee bit of the bottom. Lolly, rather than going right to the bottom. So I think that's not too bad. I'm happy enough with it. And you could add... Um, there is a lovely wee sprinkly um, stamp in here, this one, um, or the wee splashes, what do you think? I actually might go with the wee dots, since it's a lollipop it would be no chance of getting that instead of sprinkles. 
So if we go in with that, with the really dark terracotta up in that corner, it may take a wee bit of plainness away. Just sort of position it that it's... I'm going to have to press hard because I'm actually pushed up with it. And I'm just going to do the same down in this corner. As close as I can go. And press hard. So <laughs> it's not bad. Sure it's not. I really play. I love the shape of it. I actually love the shape. I'm not sure about my design, but I do love the shape of it. But anyway, that is number four done. You could again go in with your wink of Stella and add, say, a bit of colour to this. And that has come out really dark and bad. Which was not a good idea. And now I'm going to have to do the whole lot. And hope that it dries nice and clear. Well, it adds a bit of sparkle, sure, what odds? Just to bring that paper a wee bit of highlight there. And your sparkles. Your splashes of ice lolly melting, whatever it is. Now, hopefully in the photographs, that silvery leg will have died out. But it is very sparkly. It does tend to dry out a wee bit clear. So that is number uh, four, didn't I say? Yeah, sketch four. Flip me, we're flying. So catch us all again later. And remember, there are three brilliant prizes. The first prize is from Pink and Main. And it's a pack valued at $50. Second prize is a mystery stamp and die set, which is always good. And the third prize is a paper pad with some ephemera. So all lovely prizes. Just complete the whole challenge. Send a photograph. Tag Kendra in it. The hashtag Kendra's Car Challenge 3 this time. So just tag away. And at the end of it, show a picture of them all bunched together if you want. And there's a lovely Facebook page. All the links will be down below. Follow the links. There's links to Kendra's main challenge links to the pdfs links to everything you need and i hope you join us and have a bit of fun with us and I look forward to seeing all your lovely designs catch us all again later bye